what they say on Scarface, Tony Montana. All you have is your balls and your word. Well, I guess some motherfuckers got a lot of hate in their blood, too. That could be the case. And when I say motherfuckers, I mean niggas. I mean, really, the whole world, but I can't really tell you about white people, Chinese people, or, you know, any other race of people except black. I'm black, so I'm going to talk about black people. And I got friends that are black. I got friends that are white, a couple Asian friends, backgrounds, you know, I got Jewish friends, Jamaican friends, Haitian friends, all kinds of people that that make up this colorful world. But don't get it fucked up. Most people don't look past what's in their own mind. We're not saying what's in their own house, their own possessions, but, you know, they can't escape what's inside of their own head. Even when they're looking at shit, you know, you can look at things and understand them for what they are. But a lot of times you'll have two people look at something and they'll have two different understandings. And I guess, you know, that should be accepted. That's part of life. Everybody's not the same. And this is where respect has to come in. And there's so much of a lack of respect in the black community that what I'm saying right now might be misunderstood or not properly understood because the respect is not there. Arrogance will block respect. Arrogance will block your way of getting to the respect whether it's for you or for you to give out that arrogance is a brick wall that you put up to either keep yourself trapped in or to keep other people trapped out same thing but um you know all of what i'm saying is leading up to the reason why i'm doing my podcast because it's on some hating ass shit And I'm not saying I'm the hater. I'm saying I see and I'm recognizing this hating ass shit that's going all around. All the way around. Around everywhere. I mean, listen, I live where I live, but I can have a worldly view. I can think outside of the box. I definitely can think outside of my own mind. And I can see the vision, respect the vision, understand the vision. I could understand your vision. I could understand the division of the visions. Like all of that. Like that's what you need to know before you can even say you're clear on stuff. Like you got to have a full 360 degree understanding of the relatable facts, the relatable feelings, the intentions, the mood, the mode, all of that. Like everything comes into play. And this is on, you know, subjects that you experience in your lifetime. It's not one particular subject that this covers. It might just cover everything. 